much, but oh my God, that water's cold. Oh, so it did used to rotate, look at this. This just goes on and on and on. It's like the lazy river. Oh yeah. <laughs> it really is. Hello to you all again and welcome to another My CDO Adventures on my channel Nigel's G Vlogs and today uh, we're doing a bit of exploration. Uh, the CDO's back working again, uh, we had a good uh, evening testing it out last night and uh, today we're on the Niagara River and we're going to go and explore the Welland River which is also known as Chippewa Creek, Chippewa River and so on. So we're just actually on the US side right now, we had a little drive around over here and now we're going to venture into Chippewa uh, up the river, the Welland River, and go as far up as we can upstream until we can't go any further. And I believe we can get past the QEW, which is the highway, and uh, right up until where they, uh, they built the canal. And I think, I think that's where they block it off. So uh, that's our exploration for today, checking out Welland River. Chippewa, the entrance to Chippewa is just over here and uh, that's where we're going now. Now if you come into uh, this part of the world on a jet ski, sea do boat, uh, once you hit, once you go into Chippewa there under that bridge, it is a 12 kilometer an hour uh, limit. Now coming down here in the summer uh, you'll see not only just sea dos jet skis, boats, and stuff like that, you'll notice people riding in the tubes, inflatables just floating down the river. So if you're down here on the water, just be careful keeping out of them and uh, should be safe. Like I said, though, there is one or two boaters and personal watercraft operators that don't uh, adhere to the restrictions and it just makes it all look bad for everyone. Right, we just pulled up there's a little dock there but we just pulled up a little bit here and he's going to right he's just running to tim hortons which is uh, directly behind me grab a coffee before we continue up the river um i didn't put my uh wetsuit boots on today i didn't think i'd be in the water that much but oh my god that water's cold i was in it for like 30 seconds just getting out and like <clears throat> my feet in them so yeah this is uh chippewa river chippewa creek Welland River, whichever you want to call it. And uh, very shortly we'll head further up. So we got our coffee and we're going to get back on our way again. Uh, look at this, I'm in neutral. This is, uh, shows you how strong the current is here. Uh, moving pretty quickly. It's 32 deep, feet deep, because it goes deep really, really quickly. So anyway, we're going to carry on our adventure. All right, this is uh, the boat ramp where we launched from. This is a uh, Chippewa boat ramp. It's free of charge still, which is nice. The river was originally called the Chippewa Creek since it drained into the Niagara River at Chippewa. Like many other places in Niagara, it was renamed by John Graves Simcoe, yeah. the first Lieutenant Governor of Upper Canada back in 1792. The present name was taken from the river of the same name in Lincolnshire, which is located in East England. The Welland River is occasionally referred to as Chippewa Creek, especially by those in the Chippewa area itself. A quick detour into the Niagara Boating Club, and as you can see as you come in here, it looks like an old dock, uh, which is just sticking out of the water, gives it that really old rustic look. But overall, it's a really nice uh, marina, a nice boating place. Uh, but sadly, the water was extremely murky, so when we got down to the bridge there by the road, we decided, nah, that's enough. Let's turn around and head back, because uh, we couldn't see. That's quite uh, the nice little marina. 
All right, we're gonna venture back out onto uh, Llewellyn River, Chippewa Creek, and go as far as we can up it. So here goes. from six feet to we're now at 36 feet deep within 15 20 feet of distance unbelievable <laughs> this is really really nice down here it's kind of uh, a surreal experience like you're out I know technically where I am but no one here and nothing about and off the main road, it's really nice. Um, you can mistake yourself for being in a different country right now. Nice. Took a little rest bite. Quiet. We're just literally slowly floating down the river. So our engines are off. And, uh, not so much of a strong current on this one, so you can just actually quite relax and just like, roll around. It's nice. Two an hour and get oh yeah, two. I'm looking at the, the line over there. Two, three max. It's really nice. A long way to go down there. Way down there somewhere will be the QEW and still gotta go beyond that as well. This just doing this. It's priceless. This is freaking awesome. We've just floated up there. Probably floated like a couple hundred meters so far at a really slow pace, like three kilometers an hour. It is like what do they call it? The Mexican lazy river. <laughs> it's like the lazy river. Oh yeah. <laughs> it really is. We've got some people down here, some kids and a family. Looks like they're having a picnic by the water, which is nice. But this is just beautiful. The uh, QEW is just ahead of us. Uh, a lot of uh, construction going on here. If you live in the area, you'd be, you'd be fully aware of what's been going on. They've actually taken the old bridge down and built in two new ones, two flyovers, uh, to replace the really old one. Uh, it's a three year job, so we, this is the second year. It's not going to be completed until 2022. And uh, we're also going to go over, sorry, under. Uh, the abandoned, I think it, they call it an abandoned railway, but I think the railway line is still in use here. Uh, but it's written on a website that it's abandoned, but I don't think that's true. So we're going to go under this very, very old uh, iron railway bridge, which is, uh, I think is cool. And I think at one time it may have rotated, so let's have a closer look at it.
Gotta be so careful around here, not only construction, but look at this. This is like parts probably of an old bridge that once used to come across here, the wooden structure of it. But check out this railway bridge, this rusty old iron bridge. Check it out, amazing. Oh, so it did used to rotate, look at this. You can actually see the cogs on the bridge. The bridge dates back to 1910, uh, but the swing bridge has not operated since the 1930s. The remaining gears and drive shafts that operated this bridge appear to remain intact and largely unaltered. Due to this, the bridge can still be considered an outstanding example of a swing bridge. Now this is where they're doing the construction. This is the uh, Queen Elizabeth Highway, the QEW. Uh, Ford Erie is to your left and Niagara Falls is to your right. So the, this is the new bit they've completed and they're now working on the second one. And we're gonna go uh, right underneath it. camera down for a minute because uh, this water's a little shallow so I'll pay attention. dead bird. Not too sure whether it was an eagle or not. Out of the way, he doesn't look very happy, does he? All right, it looks like we're coming to the end of the river. You know, the Welland River, Chippewa Creek, whichever you want to call it. Uh, just in front of us. We'll have a closer look. Uh, but this is the end of this exploration, I guess. Uh, we've come to the end. That's it. That's the end of the uh, the line. Can't go any further. Now my feet just got wet. <laughs> Time for a bite to eat. I have to bring my work lunch bag with me. I don't have the uh, sea doo cooler yet, so this fits perfectly in here. There's a lot of space in there. All my extra clothes, clothes and uh, valuables and stuff from the dry bag and camera stuff. Turn back. Miles a day, helps you work, rest and play. All right, the ski's back home, and that is another adventure over and done with. Just got to clean it all out, air it out. Some of the uh, stuff's a little wet, so I'll try and dry that out. And uh, yeah, I might give it a little wipe down later, it's a little dirty, and get it ready for the next adventure. Anyway, if you like the video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.